service here, uh, but one of the massing just started printing over there. Check if it's not your phone. Oh, okay, sorry. It's my first time here. I, I just moved into the neighborhood. Welcome, Ben. Uh, I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Alicia. Uh, I rent a flat on the corner of the street, and the balcony wind turbine is not working, so I ran a self-maintenance check, and I found the original file of the broken part, so I just sent it here to the nearest 3D printer shop. Well, uh, it seems nearly finished. I have the impression I've seen you before. Aren't you one of the local green brokers? Yesterday, I think I saw you on the neighborhood governance programs, no? Wow, I'm impressed. Just arrived and you're already connected. Well, I always log on to those neighborhood participative governance programs to take part in local decisions. but. Also, I like to meet, you know, and get to know the people I share the neighborhood with. You're right. I'm one of the so-called green brokers. Uh, you can need anything to grow food, just ask. And uh, you, what do you do? Uh, I work in sustainable feedback and guidance systems. I moved in the area because I got a new job in maintenance of active houses nearby. Active houses is they're constantly optimizing household ways of living, suggesting green cooking recipes, preventing food waste, or implementing energy watcher dieting programs for the families. And I'm doing both, both the maintenance and the coaching of the families on, you know, how to use those systems. So you move each time you get a new job? Oh, yes. I'd love to have a walkable life. I mean, everything I need should be at walking distance from the neighborhood or online. Well, I don't have too much from I don't move too much from place to place. I studied bioengineering, organic farming, and I'm a cook. So every day I just select micro job offers I can respond to, from you know coaching farmers to sustainable assessments in the food chain, and I work mostly online. So. Oh well, I'd rather like to change places, you know. But so what about the kids then? Well, look at them outside. They already have found friends, new friends. I, th I sometimes have the impression that they live in digital spaces and virtual networks. Exactly, mine's as well. Let's say there is enough excitement you know, in digital schools and fun in virtual holidays and augmented reality. Yeah, they probably don't feel the need for traveling as much as I do. 